What is going on, guys? Same day, different time, same place. So we got the Echo 4910 on the bench. And I'm excited to announce. This bad boy is coming apart for port work. Whoop whoop. Bye Charles Briscoe. Ha! <laughs> so. <clears throat> I love porting saws. I love working on saws. But. Sometimes you just know. There's like a godfather of chainsaws. Briscoe's got the 4910 builds down packed. He's willing to do this one for me. So we're going to pull this thing down. Get the piston. Or not the piston. We're going to get the cylinder. The muffler. And they said a little black piece. We're going to send it to him. We're going to get this thing ported. He's got another one at his house that he can lock it up on to get the port work and stuff done. And I ain't no fool. Briscoe's a great build. He's a great friend. I enjoy all his builds. I enjoy watching his videos. And I'm darn sure going to enjoy getting a 4910 port in my hand. So without taking too much time, let's go ahead, flip us a light on. Play out. Let's rip this thing to smithereens. Echo. Your warranty is about to be expired. All right, let's start this thing. <clears throat> I got a few saws to run today. We got Smitty's 3450 build complete. Just got to get outside and run that. It's like Alan Hayes. Three millimeter. Three millimeter. Yeah, Briscoe's been doing these forty nine tens. He man, he can build a mean ass forty nine ten too. So. He's got the recipe, I got the saw, he's willing to do it, so why not? <clears throat> i tell you what, Echo, they damn sure got some good Loctite on these little bitty boats. That's crazy. I mean, this thing right here is stock as stock gets. Stock muffler, hell it ain't got but a half a tank of fuel on it. Still got the carb limiters in. Plus it's... <clears throat> I don't think builders, chainsaw builders, people that like to do this ought to be competing with each other on a I guess you could say a pissed off level. I think everybody's different. Everybody should enjoy what other builders have to offer. I mean, hell, I I, I think I build my saws decently. They sure do run great. Somebody else build the same saw better than me? More than likely. Probably so. But, I ain't bitching about that. Right there. The intake horn. That definitely needs to be gutted. 
Yes, that's for spit back, but. There we go, and the gasket stayed, heck yeah. So, this is a stock cylinder. Transfers. Other side. And a fairly flat squish band in it. I'm sure he'll cut that, maybe. Let's get this intake boot off. We'll ring out to keep it from has to keep it from collapsing under vacuum. And I'm sure you just fold this and pop this off. Now, I'm sure you just pop this off. Yep. All right. And we'll slip this boot off. Boot's off. So she uses a wall brew carb, kind of like your Poland's did. We will go ahead and pull these caps, limiter caps, off of the car. That way that'll be ready when it gets back. And nice looking piston. She does have a little dome to her. So what I do is turn these till them red tabs line up with the slot there. Then I just screw them in. Sometimes they will turn on you, so. And have to back out and turn it back. Just like that. Same with this one. Just going to barely start it. It turned on us. This one don't quite want to come yet, so I'm going to just screw her down. And she's off. Now, a lot of people leave, they grind these caps off 
the grind the little tits I guess you call it nubs off on these and they just chunk them back on the jet because this makes it a lot easier to tune that's probably what we're gonna do on these or you can just leave it like that whatever's easier hell I may just leave it like that honestly I am I'll hang on to the jet limiters for the time being though in case we decide that we want to go that route we can in the future so that is pretty much the tear down on the echo so if you were going to port this yourself your next steps that you would want to do would be to you want to take your clutch off that way you can get your timing wheel or whatever you use for timing on it. You want to go ahead and pull your rings off your piston. And hang those up. Don't break them. Keep them safe. That way you can put your cylinder on to get numbers. Check squish. Not worry about fighting rings every time. And that's pretty much about it. So... We'll put this in a safe place for the time being. And I think now what we're going to do is go ahead and go outside and run us a few saws. I like to put my tools up after every little build. That way we know what we got, and we know we didn't leave nothing inside of a chainsaw, because believe me, it can happen. Bolts left in the intake is a catastrophic, catastrophic deal. You do not want that. Make sure you got all your stuff, keep all your stuff organized. enjoyed this little quick video or nothing this one nothing too in depth but give you a good idea of what it needs to get this echo 4 to 9 10 apart and we look forward to getting the stuff back here whenever getting this thing back together and seeing how much difference it made believe me stock complete turd no doubt about it so we're gonna go ahead and call this video here Doves, we out.